Okay, I just wanted to go over some of the different uh, items and uh, fixtures for saltwater tanks. Uh, well, right here we'll start off with the refractometer. The refractometer is used for testing the salinity or basically the amount of salt in the water. You can also use a refractometer, but I mean, <laughs> you can also use a hydrometer, but I have a refractometer and it's a lot more expensive, but it gives uh, good readings. Um, if you have any problems with ick or diseases, I would suggest ick attack. It's probably the best uh, defense for ick. This is what I used for the first four months or so. I still have it, but I haven't used it. Or uh, the first four months since I've had the tank, or since I started the tank. But I haven't had any sick fish since then. Now, right here, I have phytoplankton. Uh, let's see. For corals, sponges, things like that. I use it for the brain coral and pulsating zinnias and the polyps. And I use a turkey baster and I just mix up about 30 drops three times a week and just kind of distribute it around the tank. You can also use this if you'd like but I don't really. Right here I have iodine which I use for the shrimp and I add this about once a week and it should say two drops, yeah, two drops for 50 gallons. This is a 40 gallon tank but I do have the sump down there so it's about 50 gallons. Right here is garlic. You use this for if you have a fish that is it won't really eat well you can use this for them if they're sick or it just encourages them to eat. It's an additive. Right here I have mag float. Uh, I do not use them anymore because they become sandy and scratch up the tank. So <laughs> that's not very good. So I use this instead, the algae pad. If you have a if you have an acrylic tank, I would say to use this. Uh, this works really well because of it can go in the corners and stuff. Uh, now, if you have a if you're gonna be dripping tank, if, if you have new fish, I would suggest dripping them. So right now it's empty, but I just have it set up so you can do a little bit faster than that, depending. But basically, you put your fish bag in there and you drip the water into the bag uh, and you test the water to make sure that the salinity is the same. When the salinity becomes the same, you take the bag out of the bucket and then you float it in the tank for about 10 minutes and that gets your salinity and your temperature the same and that will greatly help with uh, reducing stress with the fish. So now onto the filter. This is a bio wheel uh, bio wheel 200, so it has the bio wheel. I don't want to take that off. But, yeah. uh, it is for a 60 gallon tank, and I would suggest getting a larger filter than the tank size. So this is a 40 gallon tank, and this is a 60 gallon filter. So I would suggest doing that. It will help with the water changes. I have a digital thermometer. It's attached to a probe in the back right there, and that works pretty well. I'm trying it out. I also have the in tank one. That one's reading 81 for some reason. That one's reading 80. So I don't know. Either way, they're giving me okay readings. Now, down at the bottom, I have my protein skimmer. I got it offline. I think it was $24. But either way, it works. Um, I would suggest using a protein skimmer for any saltwater tank. It'll greatly reduce the amount of waste and help with the water changes. Um, it's pretty much essential for any saltwater tank. I have a fan up there for when it gets hot. Um, just turn it on in the morning if you have like hot water, hot weather, um, to keep the temperature down. That is an alternate form of a chiller. Uh, chillers are like four hundred dollars. This is like fourteen dollars. So much cheaper and efficient way of doing it. I wouldn't suggest doing that in a state such as Arizona. Uh, this is California, so it's a little bit more reasonable. But there's that. Uh, that's basically it.